everybody. It is Sunday morning. Yeah, I'm going to uh, run to the grocery store so I can get all the grocery shopping done before um, things get hectic and then think about working out and the day and all of that. But I wanted to show you guys this really cute sweatshirt I got. It says Mental Health Matters. I really haven't been buying things, but I came across it. Um, on Instagram. It's uh, self care is for everyone. I'm going to leave them linked down below along with their website. They have some really cute sweatshirts and t-shirts that promote mental health and self care. And I was just like, it's just too perfect. So I bought a bunch to wear around the house and to bum around in. Um, all right, let's go ahead. I've had some coffee. I need to get to the grocery store. Nice. So I am back from the grocery store and I thought I'd show you what I picked up. It is around 8.30ish, so we're already getting a really good start to the day. Um, but this is like three dinners, some lunch stuff, and just some things to hold us over for the week. So I got a loaf of organic multi-grain sourdough bread, some cheese and lunch meat for Steven for lunches, cherry tomatoes, some cheese, this organic coleslaw mix I'm going to be making burrito enchilada, something like that with this today. Um, I got this chopped salad. I've already talked about it, it's one of my favorite, but I'm actually just going to use the shredded vegetables as part of Buddha bowls. I got some eggs, some sweet potatoes, some naan, some wasa crackers, some regular hummus, and then I'm telling you, my friends, never buy the jars of spices. Always buy them in bags. They're so much cheaper. These were $3 a piece. They're enormous. This is a curry powder and garam masala. Also a taco seasoning, some arugula, some spinach, some clover sprouts. Um, I just got these to snack on. They're not that great for you, but um, they're better than other options. The Harvest Snaps green pea snacks. Then I got these. These are Stephen and I's favorite. It's the brownie brittle. So we've got the toffee and the salted caramel. Some milk for smoothies. Some organic salsa for those burrito type things. Some chilies for a dressing I make for the Buddha bowls. I'm going to try this ripple creamer. It's a non-dairy plant-based half and half. Um, so we're gonna see how that goes. And then in here I have bananas. Um, this is shallots, onion, and ginger, some lemons, some carrots, some bell peppers, some cauliflower, some avocados, and potatoes for curry one night. So that is our grocery haul, or grocery portion of this vlog. And Steven's awake. Oh look, you like so well Vanna Whited that. Looks like we're having Indian. Uh, yeah, we're gonna make curry, but I forgot. I thought I had chicken stock and coconut milk already in the pantry, and I don't. Oh, so I guess what you could do when you're out. Uh. Um, also, I didn't realize you had stocked the fridge of seltzers and water. So I stocked the fridge with seltzer and water and realized there was no space for the seltzer and water because okay. you had already bought I so much. I told you yesterday that I, uh, that I got that. So we got all our groceries. Now it's time to get them all put away. For meal prep this week, I'm going to roast some sweet potatoes. I already bought mine cleaned and trimmed up because I didn't want to have to mess with it. And all I'm going to do is I have my toaster oven preheating for 450. Um, I'm going to throw some olive oil on these, some salt and pepper, maybe some other spices, I don't know. So a little olive oil. A little salt. pepper, and some chili powder. I'm just gonna stir these up so they're all coated. All right, those are done. I'm just gonna throw them in here and just let them go. I have been using these e-cloths for almost a year. I've talked about them a couple times. They were a recommendation from a friend, Ashley, here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below. But you just wet them and use them. Like this one's for stainless steel. They all have like a little tag that tells you what they're for. I love them. All my appliances are wiped down. It is really just a dark and gloomy day. We set out our furniture yesterday and we've decided we're donating all of our outdoor furniture and buying new um, just because uh, 
we need a fresh set and the cushions are in rough shape so we thought we would donate um, and get ourselves a new one because there's still a lot of life in it and we'd like to give it to someone who can use it and we want to be able to make this space a little different. I love the sectional but I mean it fits in one section of the patio so we bought a couple different pieces. Um, excited about that but that is getting donated but it is such a dreary gross looking day. I think the sweet potatoes, yes, they are done. I like mine a little on the burnt side. All right, I'm gonna let those cool. And yeah, we're just having a low key Sunday. It is around 11.30 and I'm eating my old breakfast slash lunch because all I've had is a cup of coffee today. So in here I have a little bit of brown rice, some scrambled, two scrambled eggs, the sweet potatoes that I roasted, a couple of those, and then a little bit of avocado. I'm just going to top that with some Tabasco sauce and that is going to be breakfast slash lunch today. So I just got out of the shower. Um, I worked out here at home again. I did the Cindy Crawford next challenge. I'm telling you it's the best home workout. Get your whole body. And I'm wearing another one of those sweatshirts. This one says you are enough. Um, it's from Self care is for everyone. Like I said, I'm linking it down below just because I think their stuff is so cute. They didn't sponsor, they didn't send it. I bought it with all my own money and I just really love them. They're also so soft. Um, yeah, I'm loving it. I'm about to hunker down and read a book. I've recommended this book before too. Um, I actually gave Daniel my copy of it. It's called Leaders Eat Last. It's one of my favorite leadership books. I bought another version because now they've added another chapter for leading millennials. So I wanna read that additional chapter and this is the newest version of it with that new chapter in it. So I'm gonna drink some water, probably call my mom and then read this additional chapter of this book. And then we'll make dinner in a little bit. Getting ready to make dinner. <laughs> this cactus is so big. We probably need to repot it eventually. Um, but this Schultz cactus food Fantastic. What are you doing? I'm concerned about our ficus. I think it needs some more air. It looks great. It looks terrible. It's dying. I have to like fertilize it and... Well, it's gonna die with you it's banging. Not here. It's not freezing. Oh gosh. Bubby, what's wrong with him? Oh, I know. You just want attention. We have to make dinner. For dinner, I need to get out this coleslaw mix. We need the whole wheat tortillas. I'm going to do some shredded cheddar cheese. And then we need to get I think I have the salsa in here. This is so this is one of my tasks. This is usually so organized and it is like a mess right now. I need this salsa. We are going to attack the pantry this week because it's terrible. All right, salsa. I need a baking dish. I don't know. Uh, I'll get one of these out. I have this La Crusade that I'll use. And then I need my avocado oil. And then lastly, I need the taco seasoning. And I just buy the 40% less sodium Ortega, nothing fancy. All right, I'm gonna get some uh, avocado oil in the pan in the coleslaw mix cooking down. Then we'll add some taco seasoning and then we'll just roll it up. It's gonna be the easiest dinner ever, but so good. Things don't always go according to plan. My knife was too sharp and now I have coleslaw all through the drawer.
The cabbage is cooked down. That coleslaw mix is cooked down with some taco seasoning. Preheat my oven to 350. So that's going. And I'm just going to spray my baking dish with a little bit of cooking spray and then put a little bit of salsa. Let me turn you guys around so you can see. I'm gonna put just a little bit of the salsa in the bottom of the baking sheet. Now, all I'm going to do is build the burrito-y enchilada, whatever we wanna call them. I'm going to add a spoonful and a half of the cabbage mix. We're gonna sprinkle with just a little bit of cheese, and then a healthy spoonful of salsa. And then fold the ends, fold over, tuck it, and roll it. And we're just going to keep doing that till we run out of mix. And we will roll it up. Seam side down in your pan. All right, so with that batch for Steven and I, this is more than enough. I was able to make six, so that's perfect for us. Now what I'm going to do is drizzle a little bit of avocado oil and brush it over them so they get nice and crispy, and then add a little bit more salsa to the top, and then bake these in the oven. So I'm just going to drizzle just the tiniest bit of avocado oil. Make sure it's brushed evenly across all of them. Beautiful. And then just take this last bit of salsa over the top. All right, we're just gonna throw these in the oven. Alexa, set timer for 25 minutes. Literally this dinner took minutes. It'll be healthy, um, yeah took minutes to put together. And we will have some leftovers that we can heat up for lunch this week. And now that dinner is going, I'm going to go ahead and finish off this bottle of champagne from last night. Oh, we still got bubbles. I had a glass because I thought that you were just gonna toss it away. Well, look what the cat drug in. It was on sale, actually. Aww. And it is rebate. <laughs> Thank you, babe. Was it cold? No, it's it not feels cold. chilled. What? It feels cold. No, it needs to be chilled. Okay, I'll have it after dinner. Aww. All right, I'm gonna chill this, and we'll have a glass after dinner. Mm, I can't wait. And actually, a dinner is almost ready. These have been going for about 30 minutes now. And they look perfect. So let's go ahead and take those out. And they are bubbling, and dinner is served. All right, my sweet and wonderful friends. I hope that you got a couple meal ideas just enjoyed some time hanging out um, and I'm looking forward to bringing back sit down videos very soon and even monthly favorites of things that I've rediscovered that I am loving. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will leave this video like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends. Bye-bye.